Alright guys, Crypto Red Ron here. Like, subscribe, share this video. And again, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. I'm just trying to help you out. So, I created a token. Croton. C-R-O-T-O-N. And it's on the Kronos blockchain or network. And... I didn't put much liquidity into it. I put one crow. I was just kind of playing around. I went on and created this at dexpad.io. I'm not connecting my wallet right now because I'm not in through dApps. Um, I did the standard token right here. They have standard or liquidity generator, which that one seems to be a better option, but again fees to do everything you know uh, are a little bit higher with that one and so i clicked on manage token there what i ran into was like the the steps themselves were inexpensive like to create the token or to mint it or to to do this or that you know the the action you were taking on the coin was was pretty inexpensive like point zero five crow or lower than that even but what i was running into when i was dealing with this is horrible gas fees i mean every time every time i was trying to add liquidity or do anything so i'll show you on here um how i have pulled crow one for me to pull that one crow, honestly, the fees would have been more if I would have put even more. Um, but again, this was a test. I mean, the fees would have been about the same even if I would have put 5, 10, 20 crow, the gas fee. But um, I was just trying to test something out and kind of get this out into the, the, the world without putting too much into it, you know, because that wasn't the, the purpose. Um, so... I'll say every like again every time I turned around I was having to um it was asking me to spend more fees so this was like 12 crow um in fees just to to process this one you know to 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 add liquidity to this one token and that's not even using the liquidity generator token that was off the standard so everything you know I, I guess is cheaper with the standard one I don't know if the fees get any different when you really get beyond the initial step of just creating it, creating the token. But um, I know, again, you know, I ran into fees. I guess that's normal. Maybe I shouldn't be complaining too much, but I didn't expect that. Considering the fees were so low, that's what really made it awesome. I was like, okay, wow, if it's that low, you know, then I could afford to put more in liquidity don't get me wrong, you know, if I was throwing in 500 bucks, 1000 5000 $10,000, and it was a $12 fee, you know, then then it's not that bad. Oh, $6. It was 12 crow, but it was 6 bucks. Anyway, $6 is not going to break the bank by any means, but still, we're in this to try to minimize any type of um, fees or anything like that. So again, um, my coin is out there. I added a little bit of liquidity, but I was running into issues when I was trying to swap it. What I ran into was, I believe there was a lack of liquidity. And so what, what happened was, um, wouldn't let the transaction, like it wouldn't, it would just like zero, you know, if I tried to put in a crow amount, and then try to put in a croton amount, it would zero, you know, the crow out, and then vice versa, so, anyways, croton, it's live, it's out there, let's see, does this give me any, nope, but anyways, I could, um, I could add, add more, um, elk.finance, uh, this is a good one too, everything's been pretty, pretty smooth on here, um, 
I'll, I'll share the uh, address and everything for you guys, the contract address for this token. If anybody wants to look at it, analyze it, check it out, give me their thoughts or comments. Um, we could definitely do that. And other than that, I'm going to keep making some other ones, some other tokens or coins. But for now, um, hopefully this just kind of gives you a rundown of coin creation on on Kronos Network, Dylan interacting with Dexpad.io, um, using Elk.Finance. We used a few different tools here just very quickly and used them together. I didn't dive too deeply into any of them, but hopefully me showing you kind of some of the steps that I took could give you something to go and research or branch off of on your own. So again, like, subscribe, share this video. Um, we've really been having a lot of good feedback and a, and a great following. Again, share your comments and thoughts on all this. And if you have any tips or pointers, share them because that will help all of us in this crypto community. Thank you.